Hello everyone, Genghis here, and uh, this is a tier 10 strongman game between Omni and Elite Squad. Uh, we played this just after beating Elite Squad in an advance, so maybe that has something to do with their tactic. Um, but anyway, I wanted to show you this real quick, and I think it's a pretty interesting replay. You know, nothing too magic, but which shows you the importance of reacting really quickly and being able to read the map on the fly, and that you don't always have time to react as a warrior uh, when needing. So, um, it's quite chaotic at the beginning. Uh, our mediums kind of misunderstand where they're meant to go, but that happens, it's a, you know, it's a skirmish. You don't have time to prepare and so on. We're gonna put pressure into the city, uh, into the city, like the 4-5 line here. Uh, yeah, 4 line basically, with all of our heavies. As you can see, our Panzerkampfwagen Rheinmetall, uh, which we have, is going to draw straight into the abbey from below, right? His speed should be enough that you should get wrecked on the crossing, and, um, yeah. He can give us a lot of early spots from there. He could have also been gone uh, climbing the one line, but I decided to send him in there. Uh, we have one bat chat on the 7-8 line, with fought there, as well as one TVP covering him. And then I put the rest of the mediums, basically, on the 1-2 line. Although, since some of them come true, I decided to send two into the middle. So, at this very point, we still haven't spotted a single enemy. Now we spot one bat chat, right? And I say, okay. Um, right, and remember, in-game, I don't actually have time to pause here. Um, we haven't seen any enemy yet. We have a bat chat here, we have a Rheimetal who's done aggressive spots here, and some guys here. So... I know that they're either hard camping here, hard camping here, or maybe pushing here. They cannot be pushing here, because if they were pushing here, they would have already been spotted. Or maybe they're doing something different, really weird, that I don't think about, but for me, that's the thing that comes to my mind. So, what do I decide to do? Instantly put pressure here with four 1-13s, um, to see if they are on the 1-2 line, we will be below them, and if they try and counter push or whatnot, I have support, right, I have to have two 1-13s in the city who can support, as well as two 9-7s and so on. Well, if they, okay, they're pushing there. If they would have been on the 7-8 line, we could have turned around and gotten the hole down here, right? And played towards that with, again, the support from these guys, and these guys uh, taking the high ground. So, with the enemy spotted there, I need to make calls really, really quickly. I tell my mediums to run away. I tell once the teens to push up over here on the 1-2 line, and get to, um, I tell them to get to this rock, and to stay back here. Although they, uh, I mean, we end up all over this place. Um, and I send the 2 9 7 from the middle, as well as the Batcha, to instantly go capping. Because... It seems like the enemies all went on the 1-2 line. Without spotting anything, without leaving anyone back really, well, except for 35 who turned around. And yeah, um, I guess their plan was to overmatch us, uh, whatever we had on the 1-2 line, and then try and go from there. But by having some nice spotters, also nothing out of the ordinary, and reacting really fast, we're able to be in their cap, and we've got, you know, all the positions they can really decap from. Uh, completely on lockdown with our 1-13s, right? We're not pushing in with our 1-13s, there's no reason to. Um, and now they are, like, rushing, trying to counter our cap. Um, very distraughtly. Our, our mediums are also spread out, so that hopefully Artist Strike doesn't wreck them all at once. And... That's that. <laughs> hey, don't play like this. Uh, if you're a wall lead, like the enemy team. And B, I hope you learned something. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you around.